In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to factor a quadratic with two variables. We have two questions here and we'll start with A. We have to factor 10x squared minus 3xy minus 4y squared. In order to factor this, we have to use a technique known as decomposition. And that involves multiplying the coefficient for this term by the coefficient of the last term that has y squared. So multiplying 10 and negative 4 together gives us negative 40. And now we need two numbers that multiply to negative 40, and those same two values need to sum up to negative 3. Can you think of two factors that multiply to negative 40 and add to negative 3? The correct combination is negative 8 and 5. Negative 8 times 5 makes negative 40, and negative 8 plus 5 makes negative 3. So in the process of factoring by decomposition, we will break down or replace negative 3xy with the following two terms. So I have 10x squared minus 8xy plus 5xy minus 4y squared. Notice that by combining these two terms together, we get the same thing as negative 3xy. So we haven't changed the meaning of the expression. The next thing that I want to do is factor these two terms by grouping and the same with those. So what is factorable in these two terms? We have 2 and x. Factoring 2x from here gives us 5x. Factoring 2x from here, we end up with negative 4y. Let's try to factor this one by grouping. We can factor out a y. Notice that there's a y that's in common. So I'll write down plus y. And the rest is 5x minus 4y. The last step is to common factor this expression. Both of these terms have 5x minus 4y in common. So I'll pull out 5x minus 4y and make sure you leave these terms in their parentheses. And what remains is 2x plus y. And that's the answer to the very first question. Let's move on to question B. Question B, we have p squared plus 2pq plus q squared. Notice that the leading coefficient, the one associated with p squared, is 1. This is different than what we saw in question A, where it was 10. So we can try to factor this by trial and error. What two numbers multiply to this coefficient of 1 and add to 2? So think of two numbers that multiply to 1 and add to 2. I'm thinking of 1 and 1. And because of that, we can write down p as the first term in these two sets of parentheses plus q plus q, where the numbers that we found, 1 and 1, are the coefficients of this q. And if you don't believe that this is the answer, you can always check and expand this expression. If you do, you'll certainly end up with what we started with. And so there you have it. That is how to factor a quadratic with two variables.